Good morning, welcome to Kid Myth Number 57. Kid Myth Number 57. Uh, we are going to just talk about parabolas very informally today. We were actually going to be doing something else, but then you asked a great question. So let's answer it in a movie because I bet a lot of people might have this question. Mm. So we haven't, the next chapter in our Art of Problem Solving book is talking about these graphs of parabolas. We've been studying equations like ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, and I keep telling you, and we've looked on Mathematica, for example, that these are parabolas, and I always draw my parabolas the same way. Okay? Sometimes they have two roots, like the one I just drew. Sometimes they have one root when they just are tangent to the axis. Sometimes they're up here, they have no imaginary ones. roots, right? But I always draw my parabolas like this. And what question did you ask? Why don't they ever go like this? Very interesting question. Why don't parabolas ever go sideways? They do it if you rotate the axis. Ah, exactly. Very. In, this is a very interesting question. Um, so parabolas that go sideways, like that, and you actually you just answered your own question. So the parabolas I normally draw, this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis, right? And I'm, we would say the graph is y equals, let's say, just like say x squared minus 3x plus 2 or something like that. Okay. When you rotate the axis, you're switching the x and y's. So parabolas that look like that are of the form x equals y squared minus 3y plus 2. That's what that graph looks like. We don't see those parabolas too often. Yeah, well, a, now, that's a, it's a great point. There's no difference, right? It's just one thing we called x, and then the next time we called it y, and then this one we called the x's over here, and then we called them y's, right? There's no difference. In fact, if we look at a parabola like this, which might not be the graph of this, by the way, but what, whatever, if we look at a parabola like this, if we just turn our head sideways or just rotate the axes, it, they're the same thing, right? Yes. Okay. But we do sometimes see things that look like this, by the way. If we just take the simplest possible parabolas, y equals x squared, simple, right? Yes. That's tangent to the axis here. Okay, it goes up like that. Now let's reverse it, x equals y squared. Right there. Okay, now, can you turn this into y equals something? How would you turn this into y equals something? Just Well, I can do the square root of both sides, uh -huh. and I get y equals the square root of x. Huh. Interesting. So, now, we always, there's really a plus and minus, right? The plus square root of x is the top part up here that I didn't draw particularly well. That's the parabola up here. The minus square root of x is the parabola down here. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. a good question. All we do is flip the x and y's around, and we get the parabolas that go sideways. But they have all the same properties. But, but, turns out you have seen this sideways parabola before. It's the square root of x. So hmm. somehow the square root of x and y equals x squared are related to each other. Mm, maybe we'll find that out in chapter 14. Maybe we'll find out a little bit about that. All right, good, good question today. Very good question.